Jessica Linhart. I am West Virginia's newest Christian author, Bible teacher, speaker, and source for handcrafted remedies and recipes found in God's backyard. The Spirit of God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the afflicted. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim the liberty and freedoms to the prisoners. You'll find me at my home on the web at www.FindingHealingInGodsBackyard.com backslash store. My email address is linhartfarm at gmail.com and linhart is spelled L-I-N-H-A-R-T. You may view our ministry videos on YouTube by searching for Jessica Linhart, Christian author, and every Sunday afternoon at 2 p.m. on Facebook Live, we offer a free Bible study. Please join us if you can. Up next, let's worship and praise God in song. Then we will have your biblical bookmark for today. <music> It is like oil of great price on your head, flowing down over your face, coming down to the edge of your robe. The Spirit of the Lord is upon you, for He has anointed you to bring good news to the poor. He has sent you to proclaim that captives will be released, that the blind will see, and that the oppressed will be set free. A new anointing Coming your way, refreshing just for today with the wings of glory. Come fan the flame, anointing coming your way. A new anointing is coming your way, refreshing. Today, with the wings of glory, come fan the flame, anointing, coming your way. It is anointing to heal, cancel all debt. It is anointing that frees from sin and shame. to talk to you about 
how does biblical medicine intertwine, intertwine with modern medicine? Um, what you are about to hear is not to take place of your specialized doctor care. Um, anything I say has not been evaluated by the FDA. It's simply spiritual um, guided um, enlightenment with, along with a ton of research in that area. But what I would like for you to do is to um, allow the Holy Spirit to lead you into a study and in order to understand um, what I'm about to say. Um, it doesn't mean that you need to stop using what your doctor says. Now, don't do that. Um, all these different medicines that we're on, some of them we just can't just throw down. Um, there's certain procedures that you have to do, so make sure that you are um, still following your specialized doctor's care. But taking this information and letting the Holy Spirit lead you to um, what He wants, not what you or I desire. But when we get sick, what do we do immediately? What do we do immediately? Do we call the doctor? Do we schedule an appointment? Do you pray? Do you eat an herb or a supplement? Or do you take essential oils? Or do you use essential oils? Um, the Holy Spirit has revealed to me one of life's major problems in Christian believers today is that we don't know what to do when we're sick. Um, when you pass doctor's offices and um, hospitals, the parking lots are plumb full. Um, some people are in there for minor scrapes and burns and some are really critical. Um, and a vast array of problems occur. Um, and the problem is for most Christians that we want to believe in the power, hearing power, healing power of prayer and the healing power of God. And the world of vegetation. But there's something just kind of blocking us. We all, we're often confused of when we should simply believe or when we should seek a doctor that the Lord's prepared, might I add. So there has to be a bridge between what is biblical technology and what is modern technology. The problem is, is we've spent a whole lot of time developing modern technology that biblical technology is coming up, studied more, but it's still by the wayside. Sometimes the answers are very clear, while other times situations are a bit foggy. When do we use these lifestyle changes? When do we use essential oils? When do we go to massage therapy? When do we go to acupuncture? When do we um, take cough syrup? Um, it, these questions, I'd like to tell you an exact answer, but the thing is, is you just, you have to pray first. I can't express that enough. Your first defense is to pray and ask God for guidance, and it gets easier every time, and eventually you'll even hear his voice, but until then, you have to use, um, what he, he's already given you. He's already given you a stable and sound mind and he's given you his word and he's given you teachers and preachers and, um, and testimonies and you have to combine all this knowledge and the power of the Holy Spirit is already within you to straighten it out and organize it, organize it all. You just have to simply believe. But if you are having a heart attack, you're going to die unless a miracle happens or you seek modern medicine. There's no doubt. Heart attack, go to the hospital. Um, another instance, you, you know, like if your kidneys fail. Well, God has given you modern medicine and to help the kidney process. So the process is already there for you. So you need to go to dialysis. Can God heal your, heal your ki kidneys? Absolutely. But you may need to use what he already has in place. Um, in addition, or he might just heal, heal you, um, depending on your faith. I think it depends a lot on the faith. 
Another great place for modern medicine is if we are in a car wreck and we have a severed artery. Without EMS, guided by God, we're going to die. Most likely, you're going to bleed out. You're going to die. Finally, modern medicine and, and medicine, modern technology and modern medicine should be utilized if something acute is happening. My first response, again, is always prayer. You see, it's in prayer that we find the avenue in which we're supposed to take. It does me no good to jump into the doctor's office if I've not prayed. It does me no good to take herbal medicine if I've not prayed. It, ta it does me no good to take a cough medicine if I've not prayed. It does me no good to make my ointments and not pray. It does me no good. It does me no good. You see the pattern. Does me no good unless I first seek God and his kingdom. Um, prayer is the beginning of everything. For example, I can't count uh, the number of times that I have been in pain and I have simply asked God to, to take the pain away, to heal it. And, you know, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Um, as sure as I am sitting here and looking through this camera at you, I can tell you that the Lord has healed my body. And I can tell you that there are numerous times that I have prayed over my children. We are in one accord where there are two or three are gathered. Corporate prayer, there's something about the power of corporate prayer. And I think what it boils down to is the fact that... Um, a corporate prayer, God gets the glory immediately. Um, the thing is, is when you're healed, give God the glory, and then more power comes down, more faith is grown. That's why he sent me. That's why he's sending me um, to you through this video, is to inform you that he is in the healing business. He's still in the healing. Uh, he still, You still have healing power within you just as the disciples did, and that'll be in our next video. We'll go into talking a little bit about that. Um, I can tell you that there is still power in the things that he's made and in these ointments that we use, but there is no power more, far greater, far better than the power of Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, God the Father. They um, work in unison, and um, their biggest desire is to see us healed because we cannot serve the Father the way that we are meant to serve the Father unless we are healthy, embodied um, spirits. So um, with that ado, uh, today's video um, and broadcast should be um, concluded. Um, if you believe um, and you have an ailment, I um, encourage you to pray, and I encourage you to um, write and um, let me know your prayer requests. I'll surely pray for you. Um, contact me at um, one of my um, social media sites, and until next time, you may, may God richly bless your life. Amen. <laughs>